Why do chess players pose so serious during photo shoots? Um, I think largely because chess is perceived to be a game of people who are very stiff and way too serious about life. Okay, let's go here. It's one, one pawn. Play H3 here. Life is serious and so is chess. Yeah, but I mean, let's think. Sugar Babes, which one is your favorite? Very funny, very funny. I just like the song. Let's go here, kick the knight away. Did I have 7k subs yesterday? I did, yes. We we hit 7,000 subs. I think right now we're a little bit below that because, of course, subs go up and down every single day. Um, but we're not counting. We're not counting. I'm just thankful for all to all of you guys for all the love and support. Okay, that's a free juicer. Am I missing OTB? Not at all, you guys. I don't miss over the board chess at all. Being, being around you guys and and, uh, and bringing the chess content to all of you guys online, that's much more fun. I'd rather do that than be hanging around, hanging around chess players. Let's go C5 here. And Melian says, I'm not a chess player. <laughs> well, you guys know I'm, I'm somewhat joking, but yeah, I, I find this much more fulfilling it, on like a serious note. I find it's much more fulfilling. I really do. Okay, that's a free knight. I will take it. How do I win this, actually? I'm wondering if I can somehow win this. Round and round. I mean, I shouldn't win this. By the way, big shout out to Snuggy for uh, for all the support. I think he's donated a lot of subs to the channel, so big shout out to Snuggy. 94 was a great move by Snuggy. I should lose now. 94 was the one critical move that he had to find, and now he should just win. Stiff chess players. Yeah, stiff chess players. Well, I mean, chess is a very serious thing. People tend to be overly serious. I mean, I found a way to kind of get away from that with streaming. But I mean, sometimes I also do, like, I forget. Like, for example, like with XQC, when he made that comment during Fall Guys, I kind of forgot and I was being a little bit too serious. Oh, he's seeing it. Is he smurfing? Because only he's moving instantly. That was a terrible move, though. Okay, there we go. I mean, that was time. He would have won normally. Oh, that's a blunder. That's a free pawn. Go. to die Let's go queen c1 I want to maybe trade and play queen g5 
What happened between you and XUC? Nothing specific. They saw you for the five gifted. No, I mean, XUC made a comment in regards to Fall Guys uh, when we're doing Twitch Rivals, and I overreacted. And that, the reason that I brought that up is just because it's like one of those things where, like, when you overreact, it's like you forget because the chess player you're too serious. So you kind of have to realize it's just banter and it's all in good fun. Um, does chess being so serious have anything to do with Kasparov or do the history associated with, with it? Um, the reason chess players are too serious is because, uh, is basically because chess player chess has this like mystique of being something that like really smart people play and only smart people can be good at the game. So by pro because of that like general basis, that's the baseline. Um, chess players tend to think way too highly of themselves and therefore they're too serious. So it's like they just think, oh yeah, I'm just the greatest thing ever, blah blah blah. And so you're too serious about it and instead of just realizing, yeah, you're good at chess, but that's like that's one little thing in life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do some fog of war maybe later. I mean, I really want to give back to the subs because I've got. I mean, it's no longer possible really to do like classic sub Sundays anymore. So I, I mean, you want to find a way to give back to the people who are subbing to your channel. Um, and I used to be able to do sub Sundays where I just play subs to the channel nonstop. But with seven thousand subs, I can't really do that anymore. So this is just one way of trying to give back. That was great analysis. You're smart. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Let's go Queenie 1 here. Problem is my knight actually still boxed. My knight can't come into the game. He's got these two juicers that prevent my knight from ever developing. So it's not so easy to win this. Sub Saturday is a nice ring. Yeah, I mean, I just, I want to give back. 7,000 subs just beat them faster. Yeah, that, I mean, that's not how it works. Also, you guys, we are going to be doing a, a sub battle, three-way sub battle with Levy, myself, and Ludwig. Um, so we are doing that down the road. So um, make sure to tune in for that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to sack my knight here. Oh, he let me out. Go F5 and take. No way with Ludwig. Yeah, Ludwig. Yeah, we're doing it with Ludwig. Uh, <laughs> I was like, King HNG4. Oh, like, when is the sub battle? Sorry, I think it's going to be sometime this week. Um, wait, Ludwig has subs with over 2,000 rating. Well, Hans made the joke that he could play for Ludwig. I think we'll find a way to do it. It might just be a mix of... Um, it might be a mix. Uh, just, like, there might be extra ratings. Like, you know, like, it'll be, like, 17, 18... Or sorry, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, like every 100 points or something. But yeah, we'll find a way to make it balance. I've got four pass juicers here. Okay, I will sub to Ludwig. Well, you know, Ludwig's got like 20,000 subs. I mean, I assume there already are some 2,300 chess players who are, who are, who are lurking in his chat every day. Thank you to Matt Arva for the 12 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to me for all for the tier one. Thank you to study of sweets for the tier one as well. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, I'm playing against a dog. Is this a dog? I'm playing as a dog. That's actually a cute dog. It's a nice picture. Cute. Molto bello. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play E3 here. That's a cute dog. Very cute. Very, very cute picture. Let's go d4 and bishop d3 here. <laughs> what is that? What is that channel critical role? Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a nice dog. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's one. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's one. go here you should get a dog to stream with you and name it mate 
I, yeah, but the thing is, you guys, I don't know if I, if if I end up becoming a full if I become a full time well, I'm already basically a full time streamer. But if, if like if I don't actually travel, I probably would get a dog. I, I probably would get a dog. It would be it would be. I've always liked dogs. Let's go here, in HG three. Full time dog, yeah, good one. <laughs> Have I had any pets? No, because I traveled too much. My, but my, but my grandmother always had had. She had cats and dogs. So when I was growing up, whenever I would go out there, I would see them. I mean, and like even even my Alexa, which I can't bring over because it'll co come unplugged. Uh, for the screensaver, I have a picture of uh, of of one of her dogs, which I which I re really uh, really like. It was an Aussie Aussie Shepherd. How about a wife? Thank you, souls. Thank you. Thank you for that, souls. So after you turn C4 and C3 here. <laughs> oh, did Chester really just write what I think she wrote? Oh my god. Let's go Queen C2. Um, I have to make sure not to say anything because there's a lot I could say, and it would be very bad if 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 if, if I say something because that is going to get clipped and shipped, and I do not want something like that getting clipped and shipped. Okay, this is the second queen going bye bye. Yes, a human relationship is more work than a dog. Well, I mean, dogs like dogs and cats for the most part they just love you unconditionally. So it's like you know when you go and you get in get in an argument with someone. Your, your dog is always there and the dog doesn't really care. The dog is just smiling and always happy to be around you. Um, now when you go and you get in an argument with, with you know, with, 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 uh, with a female, it's much different of course, because basically what happens is instead of being smiling and happy, you end up having to basically apologize nonstop. Um, let's go queen up two here. Um, let's go queen up two. Um, all right. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now he's gonna lose another queen here. I take and take with the rook. Okay, I'm gonna double stack. Maybe rookie eight next move. Okay, that's uh, another queen. He's down to his last two queens here. Let's, uh, let's just retreat. Very safe and sound. Bishop up one. Poor Sigma. Sigma Quadro. A good game, though. He played well. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we're gonna play the Jerome Gambit. Okay, that's Jerome Gambit. Just take the knight. Maybe I hit the bishop, hit the rook here. From where did I get the starting position? Uh, chess Bay basically has a whole list of uh, chess positions that um, that she sets up, basically. Go queen d5. <laughs> yeah, this is a Jerome Gambit, so yeah. It's castle. Go knight c3, maybe trade here, maybe queen d4, b3. Let's go check, hit the king, hit the knight. Now I'm going to activate the bishop, play like rookie one next move as well. Have I made any developments in the main line? I haven't, no. This is not an advantage. I was down two juicers, but I mean, it's it's kind of like you don't really know what the fair fair value for odds is, so it is hard. Like you, you try to make it as balanced as you can, but you can also be wrong. Like the game that I lost the eleven hundred, where I was down two rooks and two pieces for against the two queens, that was not balanced at all. But it was balanced the other way. Um, like this one is unfortunately it seems just too too much in my favor, but uh, it's hard. We're just doing the best we can. Um. Okay, we keep going. 
This album is the story of the band member's marriage ending. This is what this is Fleetwood, right? Oh, that makes sense because there's also the other song, right? There's also um, there's also this song which I'll play. Play D three ninety two. Uh, Royal, Royal King, you gotta make a move, man. It's your move, your turn. Royal King 22, calling once, calling twice, it's your move. Did I sleep well? I slept pretty well, yeah. 40, 48 hour stream when? Probably never. Uh, no chat, relax, 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 Adrian. Take a deep breath, relax. Yeah, it's Royal King 22. It's your move, dude. It's your move, Royal King. You gotta make a move. You gotta make a move, bro. Your move. Have I ever had Wagyu? Yes, I've had Wagyu beef. I have, yeah. I think I had some Wagyu from, uh, from this Japanese place here in LA, uh, like last week. Wagyu and Kobe, I think technically are the same. I think, I mean, I, I think A5 Wagyu is Kobe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've had, I've had Wagyu or, or not Wagyu. I've had Kobe beef, but like wh whatever it was, the one time I had it in, um, the one time I had it in, in, I think it was in, uh, it was in, um, was it Doha? I think it was in Doha the one time that I had a uh, Kobe beef and, um, I, I had Kobe in, in Doha and it was like $300 and it was literally like four, like really small pieces of Kobe beef. And I was just like, why is, why is $300 for four little strips of meat? Like, I mean, what, what's wrong with people? Why do they spend so much money? It's called Taken for Ride. Okay, you guys, you got to be in live chess. If if you're trying to play me as part of the sub sub uh, sub Saturday, you got you got to be in live chess, dudes. Beef with Nutella. That sounds as bad as pizza with Nutella on it. Um, no, just no, just no, just no. I will not join an XQC uh in Among Us with XQC today because I know what would happen. Maybe another day, but if I join, there's a very good chance that I'm going to lose my mind, flip out, and just nonstop yell at him. And I, I don't really, I don't, I don't like that vibe in general. Now, you know, it's funny, you guys, this position I've had before, but with these two pawns removed so that you can make a queen on the edge. But here you have the double stunted pawn, so you can't actually use the rook to make a, uh, make a queen. Uh, Mercurial Twist, if you are in live chess, we gotta go, we gotta go, dude, we gotta go. Mercurial Twist, we're in live chess, it's your move, you're playing against me. This is your moment to shine, dude. You gotta make a move, Mercurial Twist. It's your turn. Okay, let's go, dude. Okay, so now I think what I do is I'm going to try to push this this one down. Because this one is stuffed. So you can only really push these two. Because these are the only ones where you have the rooks lined up. Um, oh, I blundered a rook, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to jam these pawns. I think it would be the other, it would be the other way, way around. XUC, I mean, I can tell you what would happen. If I play Among Us with XUC, what's going to happen is literally at some point, like, we're going to play and he's going to accuse me of being an imposter when I'm not an imposter. And I'm, I'm literally going to start yelling and he's going to be he's gonna be like, yo, chat, you, you, you know, you, you got to listen to me. And I'm going to be like, dude, like, grow up, like, let me talk. Just, you know, that, that's what's going to happen. And I don't, I just don't want that to happen. That, that'll be too annoying and upsetting. Okay, let's go h3 here, guard all the pawns, and maybe h2 and rook g6. Um, now I can maybe play h2. I can also go rook f1 because I guard twice, and I think I'm winning here. No, but every lobby does not escalate into yelling. Like when I watch, I, I was watching this morning earlier, I was watching Hafu's lobby with five up um, and I was watching them play and they were all very, very chill, very relaxed. And you know, when, when someone was, when, like when the game was going to end even, like when it was down to like a 4 v 41 when obviously the imposter is, just has no chance. Like the person when they're getting voted off, it's like, okay, you know, they're like that. 
But but like in XQC, if he's the last imposter, he would just like even when it's over and he's gonna die, he would start yelling again. Like because it's just I mean it's just like it's yeah. Let's make a queen. I can take the bishop here. I should be winning. Does anyone know the name of this game mode? We're playing odds. So, um, I think Chesspay is probably selling the uh, selling the Fen or the PGN code. So, if you're interested in buying that code, so you can do um, do odds games, you can buy it from Chesspay for I believe. I think she's selling the rights to it for uh, 1.7 million dollars. So, if you have 1.7 million dollars, I'm pretty sure she'll give you all the all the uh, all the setup codes, so you can you can play these uh, these positions. <laughs> Thank you, Thala, for the raid with 102. Thank you so much, Thala. Appreciate it. Um, I have it. <laughs> I could, I could buy that. I could buy that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go e5 here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knights against three queens. D4 is a good move. I think I got to go here. I got to guard, but I also guard. Now the key to this one, I think, is you've got to build with the horses. You got to get some kind of stable center. Um, if you can, some kind of outpost. Let's go here. The XUC stands all going to get Hikaru over Twitter and cancel him. LOL. No, but I mean, I, I'm I'm just I, I'm not even being particularly rude. I'm just I'm just saying that there's a reason I won't play with him. I can play a five. Uh, then there's Queen H five and G six maybe. Um, it's actually very hard to play. I'm doing not doing well here. My knights are not well placed. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go here. If a5, I'll drop back. It's very hard to play. XUC is from Quebec. Enough said. Quebec is fine. I, I mean, Quebec is always cool. Who said he wanted to play with me yesterday? Who? XQC? He didn't. Did he really say that? Okay. Look. I'm just getting pushed all over the board here. I mean, this is just garbage for me. He said it? Really? Okay, let's go knight back. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, okay, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I might not have a choice then, but we'll see. He saw you in queue at some point? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I was probably in queue somewhere. I mean, I probably entered the queue early on during my stream, and then I just never, I never left the queue. Uh, I forgot. Hating Quebec is one of the most basic parts of being Canadian. Well, that's true because in Quebec everybody just wants to be a separatist and leave. They also they also in Quebec feel the need to write everything in this Frenchy language, and they figure they don't need to use no no uh, no 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 English. Um, play F six here, I guess. Take I take and bring the knight in. This is all, this is completely lost, by the way. Keck W yes. It's no, it's no American, not, not no English, not no English, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know you guys, but like to me, it's very bizarre that in in um in Quebec, the province, there are places where they just write in French. Like if you go buy a can of tomato sauce, you aren't you aren't gonna see it in English. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's only gonna be in French. And like everywhere else in Canada, it has to be in English and French. Which to me is very amusing. No, official language is French, and that's completely fine. But it's the fact that basically, if in Quebec they can get away with doing it in only French, but if you if you did that, if you like wrote only in English anywhere else in the country, you would get absolutely skewered alive. I think that's actually maybe even just a law. Um, but but yeah. So it's like the law. I think is you have to have it in two languages. But then in Quebec, they sometimes just disregard the law or something, or they're they're allowed to like do something different, which is funny. <laughs> it's just very funny. I, I I've seen cans. Like I know I went to a supermarket in Utrecht, and um, I know for a fact that I saw like I saw a, I saw a can of something when I was at the supermarket, and it sure was it was not in it was not in it was not in English. It was only in French. Okay, I can play ninety five here.
Okay, this is a wild. Problem is my knight on e8, actually. This is a good problem. Um, I just, just take. I think I just take. I'm still not doing great, but maybe I'm doing okay. Oh, I have a check here as well with forks every which way. Okay, so he's trying to. I mean, this knight on e8 is so bad here. We'll go here. If I can activate my knight somehow. Very hard to play. But I mean I do I do like Quebec. I do like Canada. I just I, I find it amusing that when I've been there a few times, it's like it, you're supposed to write in two languages, but then when I then when I'm there it's like I see stuff that's only in only in uh, in French and it's just it's amusing to me. Hmm. I go here and here. How did I get this knight on a8? This is the thing I don't know. This knight on a8 is so bad. But now he misplayed it, because now I, I think I can just hold all the ju all the juice. Go here. Yeah, now I can hold all the glue, and I, I go here. And now I have too many horses. I've got, uh, that's just bye bye queen. Is it much easier to draw in a long game? Yes, because in long games of chess, um, players make a lot less mistakes. The The mistakes occur when you, when you have less time to think. You have to react more. You have to use your instincts. That's when a lot of mistakes occur. All right, you guys, you gotta be in live chess. We're playing Kababi Kababis. Am I practicing for nine? I'll actually mean chess 960. I like 960 chess. I love 960. Um, I'd love if every chess tournament was 960. I would, I would, I would love to play chess. Let's go C4 knight to turn D4. What's the point of Discord when we talk here? A completely dumb question, but I'm genuinely asking. The reason is that it's easier. To, it's easy. There are a few reasons. First of all, it's easier to set up. Um. It's easier to set up and have more communication where you can have a, like a list and a queue and an order. Um, so that's the first reason. Secondly, also it gives gives everybody a community. Not everybody um, not everybody has the time to live in the live in the chat room when the streamer is not live. So it it sort of promotes uh, the community atmosphere as well. So, so that's what I would say. Oh, it's oh, sorry, it's mine. One second, let's take the juicer. Let's go here. Hit the juicer. Hit this juicer. I also hit this rook. I also have C five coming. One lonely guy is my favorite voice channel. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Naltron o Osu, for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh oh. Oh, he's got some sneaky, devious idea to trap my queen. So I have to just like, I gotta exploit the uh, exploit the diagonal here. Yeah, I think the vibe the vibe is pretty good today, you guys. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel I feel I feel relaxed and rested now. I think I'm gonna go here to kick the bishop. Can I get out of the queue? I have to go now. C slider. Um, if you really do have to go, maybe we can move your game up in the queue. If you really have to get going, let me see. Ch let's 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 see what chess base says. I'm in the perfect mood for Among Us with XQC. Yeah, I'm in absolutely the the. This is absolutely the like. You're gonna see me go from being like very happy and in a good mood to being like literally in a bad mood. Is the move to California finalized? No, you guys. I I haven't decided yet. Obviously, I'm gonna be here for like another month and a half or so, and then I have to make decisions. Um, what I want to do going forward, whether I want to stay in California and pay taxes here, whether I want to go back to Florida, I'll have to make some. I'll have to make some hard decisions, and I'll I'll, I'll obviously think quite a bit about it going forward. Um, let's make a check and take the bishop. Can't you keep both places? Not really, because um, you have to declare and pay taxes in, in one place. Let's play e4 and d5, maybe. 
Good check. Just evade taxes, no, you guys. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worth uh, billions of dollars. I can't evade taxes. Um, I, I, I can't get that, you know, that classic uh, presidential pardon. I, I don't have that get out of jail free card. So no, I don't think so. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, why do you have to do that? I was hoping that you guys I was really hoping to go check, 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 and get this really cute uh smothered checkmate. This is what I was hoping he would do. Why do you have to go King D eight and ruin it? He had to go the other way. This was so cute. This would have been beautiful. Okay, what oh wait, 